Josh Hart, Brunson open, three-pointer, bang! Tie game with 6.44 remaining. Timeout, pace. <sighs> There's his wife right there. At 6 2 from Villanova and just announced as a 2024 NBA All Star, number 11, Dylan Branson. What a great moment, guys. Like a prize fight. Jalen, that looked like a prize fight. How did that feel? Ooh. That was fun. That was... That was fun. That was fun. The night started with you being named to your first All-Star game. Just talk about the journey you've been on and how it has reached this point now where you're on the garden floor hearing MVP chance and you're going to the All-Star game. I mean... I got, I got nothing to say. I got nothing to say. All right, then talk about your teammates because I know you will. You guys are shorthanded playing this game. This is a tough game. This is a big Eastern Conference game what did you see out of this group where mainly seven guys played but yet fought back from down 15 to win we kept fighting man i mean no matter what we're gonna keep fighting that's what we do don't keep fighting every single night that's what we do especially here man this place is unbelievable especially here congratulations Jalen. thank you so much man is it just me or that made me tear up a little bit man that made me tear up a little bit, man. Oh my gosh. Ooh, hope this is good. So this video is about Tom Thibodeau talking about Jalen Brunson. Let's get it. And you mentioned how he self-made Jalen. Uh, after the game, how was everyone on the court? Well, you know, he doesn't do very often. I was curious, you've obviously known him for a long time. What does yeah. it mean for you to see him? Well, it, it, it's surreal. You know, it's to, you know, I think back to like when he was a kid coming here in the 90s, and you never know. Like, you, you knew he was a great kid. He has always had that. And he was funny and he was entertaining. He made everyone laugh. But he was so serious uh, even then, you know, like whether he was doing, you know, an imitation of the Latrell Sprewell or Alan Houston or Larry Johnson or Patrick. It was it, and he had it spot on. He was like six and he had all their moves down, you know. And so and then, you know, following him through high school and then, you know, Villanova and, and then his pro career and each step of the way there's always been naysayers and he always proves them wrong. And uh, it's great for the family too. Like what Rick has put in and not only Rick, but his wife, Sandra and uh, Jalen's sister. I mean, it's been a family commitment and to see it, it's uh, special. How awesome is that guys? How awesome is that? Like, it's just a better feeling. I know uh, we would have Kyrie years ago in free agency, Durant and all those dreams. But it's just such a better feeling. You get a player that's younger. Maybe he's better. He's just as good as Kyrie right now. You know, he's a great leader. He's available. No drama. Grew up a Knicks fan. His dad played for the Knicks. You know, he was imitating Latrell Sprewell and Allen Houston. Like, how awesome is that? Me and my dad, uh, we started to, you know, working out outside and um, in the hot summer weather. And so he said every day, whether I was in tears because I didn't want to do this anymore or or I was happy because I just played really well in the game. He asked me every day, is this what you want to do for the rest of your life?
No, not at all. I didn't think this was possible. I didn't think um, I didn't think a lot of this was possible. You know, but as I continue to grow older and as I continue to you know, just be who I am and uh, not really worry about what people say, good or bad about me, and just focus on myself, and you know, I knew anything was impossible. But uh, everywhere I've gone since high school has started for me, it's always been Jalen Brunson's good, but like it's always that but. Like they're gonna say something negative about it, and I've always, whenever I've done, you hear that in the first couple of years, and all of a sudden it's like Jalen sits, he's great, he does this and this, and going to college, same thing. Jalen's good, but this and this and this. And when they said, when they said but, what what was the but about? It was too slow, uh, not athletic enough. Um, too small, um, all those things that you know, that don't measure heart, and um, that's what I have with the end goal in mind. But uh, we gotta focus on one day at a time, and I think it's the, that's the best way we can get better. It's like a dream come true having this player, this type of player. Like, stories is unbelievable. Ben Stiller. For the lead. What a well put together edit, by the way. What a well put together edit. Like, holy shit, that was good. We're during we're around during a time that Ben Stiller's tweeting MVP Jalen Bronson. Thank <sighs> you.